Hey, Ray Hayden here, and this video is really just a video because what I've been doing is we see a motorcycle passing us the other direction. I pointed at the screen like you can see my finger pointing at him. Anyways, um, I was trying to use the Fat Gecko connection to uh, get some uh, motorcycle riding video, and it was horrible. Uh, it was a shaky mess. It was absolutely the most unprofessional video I've ever seen in my life, and I would never subject anybody to have to watch that. Now, on this video that I'm shooting right now, um, I also tried to use the Fat Gecko suction cups to hold my uh, cell phone, the ZTE Axon 7 cell phone. I tried to mount my uh, homemade mount to the Fat Gecko suction cups, and that was also a shaky mess. And on top of that, the camera, the regular video camera that I have, is nice, it's lightweight all by itself, it directly connects to the Fat Gecko, and it gets very smooth video. So then the only issue is whether or not I'm getting too much reflection on the dashboard and anything like that. So, um, you know, this is really just an update into the Fat Gecko tests. I've, uh, this, today alone, I've tried to experiment with it by using it on the lawnmower. Um, I we got it firmly attached to my lawnmower, but the video was a bouncy, shaky mess. You need some kind of a gimbal um, to get that job done. And that I believe I also did with my cell phone. I didn't try it with the video camera, but based on my other experiments uh, on the motorcycle where I did use the video camera, I did not, um, I was not happy with the results. So, you know, I wouldn't use it. Now this, this street right here is one where people try to cut each other off like crazy, which is kind of humorous because it goes into one lane and we're all going the same direction. So I always let people cut me off because I don't care. But anyway, um, yeah, all the videos that I tried, I tried on my lawnmower, I tried it on the, uh, on the motorcycle. The Fat Gecko thing connects very securely. It holds the camera very well, but the, you know, when I try to put it on a windshield of the motorcycle, there's too much wind bouncing the windshield around, so that's not gonna work. I put it on the body of the fairing, but the fairing is going to take some vibration as well. And uh, that image was a shaky mess. Then the other thing I tried was to mount it to the tank. Uh, that worked really well too, just with two suction cups. And uh, held the camera very securely, but you know they were sitting there watching the thing take vibration and bounce around. Now all the parts of the motorcycle really are meant to take vibration so that we don't feel it so much. Uh, on my particular motorcycle, so um, it works. Everything works really well, and the vibrations are coming through to me. But if you're firmly locked onto the motorcycle, like the suction cups are, then the vibrations going to transmit to whatever's at the back end, which is the video camera or the cell phone that I'm using now. Uh, right now, I am using the cell phone using uh, Miss Kathy's uh, suggestion to me a while ago of using the uh, hair scrunchies and uh, putting it on the mirror, and that's doing, as we see here, a pretty good job. And the only problem I had with this was in, I did a longer video, and in the longer video, the camera actually got warm. Uh, the cell phone, the cell phone got warm, and uh, that's not good. So, um, but uh, for a short video, you wanna do a short driving video or something like that, um, it would be fine. But if you're trying to do like some kind of an all day adventure with my particular phone strapped to the mirror, that's not gonna work so well. So I was trying to use the Fat Gecko to give it some, you know, airspace or whatever, a little bit of air conditioning around it so it didn't get too hot. Um, but then I induced a shake again, so, you know, it's not gonna work. So again, the purpose of this whole video is to report that the Fat Gecko works very, very well to nice and securely hold your camera to whatever vehicle or whatever you know you're using the suction cups on that's great but the cameras that i have i guess the technology didn't catch up with them in time or whatever and or the mounts that i have are too heavy and none of them are going to work at all for you know what i would hope to get for a motorcycle riding video uh for the uh lawnmower which was really a cool angle I, nice low angle just above the grass you can see the front tires of the lawnmower it was really neat um, but the problem being that you know it's too shaky and bouncy it's just not going to work and so that's unfortunate 
because that would have been a really cool video, I think. And then, uh, but for the truck, well, the truck has suspension on all four wheels. Um, it has a nice ride to it anyway. And the mirror is, you know, firmly mounted so it doesn't have vibration in it. We're looking in the rear view mirror, so that works great. And then on top of that, the uh, anti-shake capability of the camera or the cell phone uh, when using the main camera is really good. So um, I'm gonna look at this video here when I get back to the house. And if everything looked good, then you saw this video. Or if not, another failed test. And I'm not gonna put a fail test on, on YouTube. It's just not even worth it to me. I'll just report that the test was a failure, okay? Anyway, so with that, until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.